account which is relevant and related to that. Be with us from start to end today, insha'Allah, we'll be talking about one particular ayah from Surah Al-Furqan. Insha'Allah, we'll discuss about that very ayah, what message does it contain, and what is there for us to learn. Before we proceed towards our topic of the day, let's make few good intentions. My Shaykh Tariqat Amir of Ahl Sunnah, Hazrat Allama Maulana Muhammad Ilyas Attar Qadri. Dhamad Barakatuh Mul Aliyah has given us a beautiful mindset we should make good intentions before we perform any permissible task or do any good deed. As I am presenting this program, I make this intention insha'Allah. I will present it for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can make this intention. You will watch this program from start to end. You'll remember what you learn, act upon and pass this knowledge on to others too insha'Allah azza wa jal. Respectively, today we have selected an ayah of Quran from Surah Furqan. In verse 27 and 28, let's listen what is the message for us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, And the day when the unjust one will bite his hands repeatedly out of grief, stricken sorrow and contempt, saying, Alas, had I somehow chosen a way along with the messenger. And further, it has been mentioned in the next ayah. <laughs> Meaning, wow to me. Alas, if only I had not taken so and so disbeliever for a friend. Respect you, Yusuf Padrishan. The very the first ayah of this. Surah Al-Furqan 27, I recited before you. The translation was, And the day when the unjust will bite his hands repeatedly out of grief, stricken sorrow and contempt, saying, Alas, had I somehow chosen a way along with the messenger. As far as its summum of Nuzul, reason for the revelation of this ayah is concerned, it is general for all disbelievers but it is specific with regards to Uqba bin Abi Mu'id and the Shani Nazul, the background of revelation of this very ayah is that Uqba bin Abi Mu'id he was very good friend of Ubay bin Khalf and Ubay bin Khalf was a big enemy of Islam and he used to always remain busy destroying Muslims' beliefs and stopping people to convert, to revert towards Islam, to accept and embrace Islam. It was his mission. And he would not leave any stone unturned to achieve this. Rasulullah invited Uqba bin Abi Mu'id towards Islam and in some books of Tafasir, it is mentioned that Uqba bin Abi Mu'id wanted to invite Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam for meal. And Rasulullah alayhi wa sallatu wa sallam made a condition that if he accepts Islam, then Rasulullah alayhi wa sallatu wa sallam will go for a meal. In short, he accepted and embraced Islam. As soon as Ubay bin Khalf came to know that his friend Uqba bin Abi Mu'id, he has embraced Islam. He started pressurizing him to leave the fold of Islam. Astaghfirullah. And become disbeliever again. And upon the pressure of his friend, 
he became murtad. He left Islam. And Rasulullah gave the news of unseen that Uqba bin Abi Mu'eet will be killed. And then the history saw in the battlefield of Badr, Uqba bin Abi Mu'eet was killed. And after when he was killed, this ayah was revealed and it is said, how will he regret biting his hands? And the day when the unjust one will bite his hands repeatedly out of grief, stricken sorrow and contempt, saying, Alas, had I somehow chosen a way along with the messenger. In respect to viewers, further, it has been mentioned in the next ayah, Vow to me, alas, if only I had not taken so and so disbeliever for a friend. From this very ayah of Quran, and the message of Quran, what we learn, that we need to adopt good company of good people. From this we find out that company of people of correct beliefs and people of bad character is really harmful for one's own life of this world and the hereafter. And it can destroy one's this life and life of the hereafter. And Rasulullah has also encouraged us to abandon bad company, to avoid bad friends. Sayyidina Anas bin Malik quotes that Rasulullah said, Avoid company of a bad friend because you will be recognized through him. And it's an English saying also. A man is known by his company which he keeps. And respect to viewers, today also we see that. There are certain people, they say that we are very strong in our beliefs and in terms of our ideology in Maslak. We are very much strong and nobody can change us. And we have just kept ties with so and so person who has got different beliefs so that we can convert him. And this is just to comfort their own nafs. And there are certain people who do nikah with a bad madhab, women, women of corrupt beliefs. And they seem to say that we have done nikah so that we can change her mind. And it is also seen that certain people, they do not bother sending their children to a ustav or a teacher who is person of corrupt beliefs and they don't find it very sensitive when a child goes starts studying uh, with a bad madhab with a person of corrupt beliefs he can change the mindset of our child so respective viewers we understand that a person who is friend of a bad madhab he can have a very strong and bad effect upon us or upon that person if he has got friendship with Ibad Madhab, a person of God believes. And we also learn from this very ayah that a person who was Uqba bin Abi Mu'eet, who had embraced Islam, but he left the fold of Islam because of his friend, disbeliever friend, and he will regret on the Day of Judgment. Had I not made him my friend, because of him I got destroyed. Even after coming towards light, I ended up falling back to darkness. And if you would like to make anyone your friend, always check what are his beliefs. And at the same time, his character. Respect to of Mother Nishan. It's a saying in Punjabi, Change Lokandi, Sohbat Yaro, Jimmy Dukan, Attara, Sauda Pame, Mul Nalaye, Hulle An Hazara. The company of good people is just like a perfume shop. If you go to buy anything from a perfume shop, whether you buy anything or not, yet when you come out, you smell good. Bure lokandi sohbat yaro, jivin dukan lohara, kapde paame kunj kunj bhaiye, chinga pen hazara. And company of a bad person or bad people is just like a shop of a blacksmith. No matter how much you try to save from the sparks that they come on one's clothes and body. It's very hard to save. 
So company has its own effect. It is us we have to choose. Are we sitting next to a person who is just like a rose? Because when a rose is close to a mud, that mud also smells good. Or we want to choose a person of a bad character and bad and corrupt beliefs, then it is possible that his company may have a negative effect upon us and we also end up becoming bad in character and in our beliefs. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq. Alhamdulillah. Environment of Dawati Islami is there for us to choose. You can make your friends in the atmosphere of Dawati Islami. They will be your friends in this dunya and inshallah in the hereafter too. They will benefit you. You would say, how will they benefit in the hereafter? Yes. When you will be in your grave, they will be praying for you, inshallah. They will be sending you reward, inshallah. So good company does not only help a person in this dunya, but even after he departs from this mortal world, that good company, good friends, they remember even in their prayers and benefit that person who used to be with them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq and ability to understand whatever we have learned from this very message of Quran. Ameen, bitahim, nabiyil, ameen. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. We'll be back with another beautiful message of Quran, another beautiful verse and its background. Until then, keep watching Madani channel. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Quran.